I cannot apologize more. I am never late like this. I am so sorry. Um, I, I couldn't get away from what I was doing and I, it was unexpected. Um, <clears throat> Guys, I am so, so sorry. I haven't even uh, been able to like mattify my forehead. Um, I, I, I'm truly sorry. Um, it's just something that couldn't be stopped, couldn't be done, couldn't be uh, helped. I had to, uh, had to in order to help myself. So uh, thank you. Thank you guys for waiting on me. And um, I uh, see that I have a starred. Oh, Tony P, thank you for becoming a new member. Um, hey, Marion, guys, uh, I just did that podcast and it was so good. Hey, Buffy. Hey, Carrie Ann, you're late. I'm late. Sorry, I was late too. Hey, Yarn Prepper, Shannon Lee, Ladybug Melissa, Blakey. Uh, Blake, by the way, I talked to Sterling for a little while today and he was like, please tell Blake I love him. He was like, we all love Blake. And you remember our conversation last night? All is well, brother. All is well. He thought it was hilarious. Killy Billy, Katie Pie, Carol Loren, Tony Suter, uh, Joe Virus. Hey, babe. Uh, Millie the Dandelion. I never see you on a live. Perfectly imperfect. And I know why. You're in the UK. Um, Crystal, thank you for becoming a member. King's Kid, J9, Victoria Martin. Uh, Teresa's here. Thank you, guys. Nat Cat. Hey. Uh, Laura Font. Frida. Pajama Pixie, Laurel, Olga, Liz Trix, Monica M. Joe Knight, Julie Denny, Rachel, Lydia Krause. Guys, thank you for being here. Um, do you have to be on a computer to get the membership? You know, my mom asked me that earlier and I really don't know. Hey, Stella, Janie M, Crystal Radcliffe. Thank you for joining, babe. Lisa Vining, Ditto Deb, Ren B. Do you like my hair more straight? I keep getting very 50-50 mixed reviews on this. Rhonda McNeil, I love you. Okay. Uh, Barefoot April, Grandkids Galore. Love you guys. Amy Lynn, Victoria Miles, Tammy, Kim White. I love you guys. Princess Honey Badger, that's so cute. Hey, Casey. Deb S., thank you. I know, I knew you were. Blake, uh, don't be careful or worry about any of that. He told me to pass that on to you, brother. Do not worry about it. He was very serious about it. He loves you. He loves you. Hey, Ursina, thank you. Uh, okay, uh, Jazzy Girl, often you don't you don't catch a lot. Hey, Shashire Cat, thank you. Today is my 23 anniversary at my job. Creature of habit or glutton for punishment, not sure which. That's so cute. Well, happy anniversary, babe. Um. Hang on just a second, guys. Uh, Shannon Lee, thank you for becoming a member. Uh, you are a membership, uh, that word that's going to get me demonetized, Barbara. Danny, good to see you. Silverbird, what a cute name. Artsy Tartsy. Kaz, Jamie, Midnight Show. Your name is Arwa, if I recall. Good to see you, girl. Jeanette Dixon. My voice is a little hoarse from doing that um, podcast. Frida, thank you for becoming a member. Is that our Nancy Stitchin, the legend? Can't wait to hear see the podcast we did. So um, it was great. Like, it was so, so good. I liked her so much. And um, she, I said, how long till this? Hey, Heather, Heather Carr. I said, how long till this comes out? And I said, it's going to be like six months. And she said, I do have months worth of content. Um, but she said, yours, I'm going to kind of push to the front of the line. And she said, she's hoping to have it out like in a week or two. Um, it was very uh, good to talk about. And um, yeah, I'm a little hoarse from it. I cried a little bit. Uh, so I just feel um, 
Can you guys tell? Maybe you can't tell. I can feel it in my throat. Um, well, hi, Francie. Well, how are you? Oh, you're so little. God, did you know that you were this small by chance? Did you have any idea that you were this dainty? Good Lord. Uh, what's the podcast? Um, Lauren, it is, um, it's, it's a cool, really cool concept. Uh, thank you, Dazed by Dogs, for becoming a member. Uh, it's at Oh Sexy Voice, Ursina. Is it a little uh, Demi Moore? Is it kind of Scarlett Johansson for you? I feel like when I have a scratchy voice, I just sound more like a man. Llama Mama, trees. Do you have ghosts? I don't know what that means, and it kind of frightens me, honestly. So if you could elaborate. Um, Okay. Um, the podcast. Uh, hey, Joe Banks. Sorry, guys, I'm a little distracted. Thank you, Killy Billy, for becoming a member. I'm sorry, guys. I, I this is so. I'm not. This isn't me. I'm not uh, being myself. Um, the podcast is. I'm okay. No, I'm fine. Hang on, just a second. Okay. The podcast, I, why are you distracted? Why do you keep listening for? Um, no, no, guys, don't be worried. It's okay. Uh, I'm totally fine. Just been having some, uh, it, it, it's real. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. Look at this burn mark on my forehead. I just love that I don't know how to use a hot tool. And I burned the ever living F out of myself. Uh, Charm School Dropout. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, it's okay. Don't be worried. You guys, it's exactly what we thought it was going to be. Remember when I said that there's a family member? Yeah, that watches. Remember? Well, that family member. Um, thank you, witness. Um, I don't want to start up drama on this channel. So this isn't this isn't where I'm going with this. And I don't want to get too into this. Um, no, Liz tricks were fine. Um, that family member called and stirred up a lot of drama and said, a, I recorded all of it, but said a lot of lies and, and just that I'm a total narcissist and I'm a liar and all of these things. And I, Hey, Stephanie East, haven't seen you for a minute. And I knew those things were going to happen, but that's, it's just important to me that I keep track of things and, um, <laughs> snitch snitching. Yep. Uh, and that's okay. That was expected. I knew that was going to happen. I actually kind of, uh, lots of gaslighting. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's okay. We're not going to start up drama. Uh, the, the person is not in the house. The person called and just said, um, you realize like your wife is a God awful human being and a total liar and, um, a Scientologist and she's still a Scientologist and, uh, wants nothing but to destroy you and everything in her path, you know? that old chestnut. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm pretty sure, uh, uh, pretty sure that's always been the rumor in his family. So I don't mind it. And again, the beauty is I was a Scientologist for so long that, um, oh, don't worry. I called out when that family member was on the phone and I just said, 
hey, you mind minding your own mother effing business and maybe just getting a life of your own? I don't know. I mean, that's not my typical style. I felt a little trashy. I got to be honest. I felt a little trashy shouting that out. I'm not much of a shouter, but, you know, they weren't on speaker. So I had to get my point across, right? Um, and uh, I have since texted the person and just said, hey, um, don't do this. You know, you probably shouldn't do this. And maybe, maybe you might want to find a life of your own. You know, you're in your 60s or whatever. And uh, I don't know, there's a whole life outside of re and Scientology. And you might want to step outside and see the world. Um, and that's okay, guys. That's okay. The problem is it, um, it uh, creates issues between Jeff and I, of course. And who asked for that? not going to blame anybody but me, not even that family member, right? I mean, I said what I said, I own what I said. And what I said is the truth. And um, I, I don't understand meddlers, and I never will. I don't understand people who go stir up drama and get in other people's business. And, and, and it's like, you've got your own stuff going on. Just just stay on your side of the fence. Just stay in your lane. That's all I ask of you. Um, anyway, let's just forget about that because it's not what I wanted to talk about today. That just, ha, 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 I have many thoughts and words running through my head. I'm not going to text them, but I want to. Maybe you should because I sent her a real good one because you don't deserve that. You don't deserve any of this. Um, Crystal, I will talk to you after. Um, she really lost her mind uh, with a lot of hatred, lots of hatred. And Jeff even said, if you hate her so much, don't watch. <laughs> Even Jeff. Now, Jeff agreed with everything she said, but he was he was like, if you hate her, why are you watching? And she was like, because I have to. I could hear her screaming on the other line at him. And she was like, she's awful. She's evil. She's a narcissist. She's a liar. She's a dirty Scientologist. Well, that last one's true. I mean, I'm not dirty. I took a shower today. But, you know, the Scientology part... I cannot deny, um, for sure. Yes, it does, boyfriend. Yes, it does. Uh, oh, no, don't say go Jeff. Jeff said a lot of, lot of nasty stuff. A lot of nasty stuff about me. And that's okay. Yes, she said I am a deep-rooted narcissist. And I'm a liar. And I'm trashing and telling lies. And uh, But we're not going to make this channel about drama. We already have a lot of drama, let's be honest. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, it was ugly, Crystal. It got real ugly. But the cool thing is I recorded the entire thing because if Scientology taught me anything, I'm a bit of a sleuth and I've always got my recording equipment on and I've got my binoculars and I'm always watching because <laughs> that's what Scientology taught me to be, taught me to be a real sleuth. Um, so yeah, that's perfectly fine. Oh, I recorded it. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. We've got it all on record. Um, as opposed to those shallow rooted narcissists. <laughs> Renby, I love you, girl. I love it when you come into the chats. I don't get to see you very often. Even Jeff said it was hilarious. Jeff goes, please stop. He was like, because you're just going to give her fuel. And she's only going to go on her show and say more. He said, because... She said she's still a Scientologist and she was never taught boundaries. And he said, she's very dumb. And he was like, she doesn't know anything in the world. So she's just going to come on and say stupid things. He was like, you're just going to make it worse. And he was like, she's totally desensitized and doesn't know anything about the real world. He was like, so please don't make it worse. <laughs> He's adorable. Sweet too. I looked up community sales manager, average base in KC, 55K you have experience to so be asking for 60 if you decide to go back to work. Well, I may have to do that and better together. Thank you for looking and your super chat. Um, uh, and maybe, maybe that will be my plan. I've got to come up with a plan. We do have to come up with a plan. Um, Crystal says, I have 39 years of experience with my dad and this other relative, and I can't begin to express. Thank you, Crystal, because that actually validates things a little bit for me. Not that I need to be validated because I know what I know and I say what I say. And uh, I definitely have been introduced to the real world, uh, contrary to what they think. I've been out there. I've seen it. I've met people. 
I've flown on airplanes. I've swam in swimming pools. I've been to grocery stores. I went to the post office yesterday. So I definitely don't agree with the fact that I know nothing and I'm an idiot and I don't know the real world. You know, I went to uh, Sephora the other day and I got another lip stain. I know things, guys. I know how to do things. I know how to pay bills. I've got my own credit cards. Um, I own a car. So I definitely feel like I've been um, initiated. The Firestarter, 1992, longtime replay watcher. I will never, I never catch a live. So I thought I would celebrate with a super chat. I don't see a membership option on my phone. Babe, I love that you're here. Thank you for your super chat. And don't worry about signing up for a membership. It's not, you know, it's not necessary. Um, thank you, Yawn6280. And thank you, Co Blended, for becoming a member. Um, guys, I'm not trying to get everybody riled up. This just happened uh, without uh, uh, people knowing. Um, hold, hold on. I, um, yeah, thank you, Crystal, for your support. This was totally uh, unexpected. So I wasn't planning to come on here and do that. Uh, HC from LBC, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for becoming a member. Um, oh my God, Chow Yun Smut. And guys, we, uh, Oh, Jeff, did you want to say something? <laughs> Come out and play with us, Jeff. Come on in. The water is warm. Uh, the Midnight Show. Sometimes we have to use our culty skills. They can be handy. Oh, my God, that's the best comment I've ever heard. I got nothing but culty skills. And you know what? I turned them around. I put them into good use. I've, uh, I've done a lot with my culty skills. So thank you for saying that. Any window fish sightings today? Oh my God, that was so funny. That lady at the post office. Thank you better together for your super chat. Nana of 12 became a YouTube member. Thank you, babe. Um, I don't know how many members I have right now. I actually haven't checked. Hi Reese, you've been on my mind. Sending you love and positive vibes, girl. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hey, Courtney G. So um, we're not making this about Jeff and his, his awful family member that said terrible things. We're not going to do that. We're going to go back to what we were talking about, which is that podcast that I just did. And um, it was so good. Um, it was called, it's a cool concept. I just want to say it's a really cool concept. It is called Better Ask Daddy. It's called Better Ask Daddy. <laughs> it's so true, Shelly. <sighs> yeah, I know Matt's mom forever. It's going to be okay, guys. It's going to be okay. We're going to smooth things over. We're going to do, uh, we're going to, we're going to rely on our culty skills. And uh, they've always come in handy. They've always gotten me by. So it'll be fine. It'll be just fine. Um. And, you know, bless Jeff. He said, I don't know any better because I don't know the words that come out of my mouth. So let's, let's count on that. Let's count on that. Um, it's called better call, better call daddy, better ask daddy, better ask daddy. And it's this really cool girl. And her, she does have a YouTube channel, by the way, and she's going to release it on all the platforms. So she's got a bunch of different Spotify, podcast, YouTube. She's going to release it on all of them. Tweeters, mom, thank you for becoming a member. Honey in the Rocks, a member. Thank you, thank you. Um, she's going to release it in um, all of them. And um, I'm hoping in a week or two. And hey, mainly Linda. And um <laughs> New merch phrase, culty much? Or I think we should come up with something that's like, put your cult background to good use. Make a career of it. Um, can you activate the join button on your end? I don't know. I don't know how to do it. So anyway, everybody go over and follow her. I told everybody that I would ask uh, you guys to do that. Um, I am. I am. I am. Uh 
I mean, you are. That's what I meant to say. You are. You are. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Let your coltiness out. Let it out. Don't keep that coltiness caged up, guys. You got to let that out. You got you to gotta air it out. You got to unclog the pipes. Um, so it's called uh, <laughs> Better Call Daddy. And thank you, JD. Thank you. So here's the concept, if you guys don't know. She's a super cool girl. Her name is Rena. How do you not lose it with these people? Because I don't like yelling. I don't like that kind of manipulation anyway. I'm not going to play that game. I would rather use it to my advantage. You know, let's hang it out there. You want to call me a liar and a narcissist? Please come on alive with me and explain to me how that's so. You don't even know me, you know? Don't be part of the problem. Be the whole damn problem, okay? Let your cult flag fly. I like that. Uh, Jamie, I'm your girl crush. I like that even more. You know, it's nice to have a crush. I was talking about this earlier with Tommy. Everybody has a crush on Tommy. I have to be honest, I'm, I, I'm a little hurt. Where are mine? I need that kind of a following. I don't think it's fair for him to be the attractive one. And I'm just, you know, the cult girl. So I appreciate it when someone has a crush. Anyway, Jamie, you're straight. Good to know. Thank you so much. Thank you, Courtney G. I like this lip color too. Um, you don't? Sorry, Tommy. Okay, Laura, it's kind of nice to know that there is a woman out there that doesn't have a crush on Tommy. Um, oh, it's because I don't have big hands. I do not have big hands. I've got smaller paddles. They're smaller paws. Um, so let's get back to what I'm trying to say. It's a cool concept because this girl hears your story. And I think I didn't quite fully get what she does as far as you don't have a crush on Tommy Rain virus. All right. Um, dark sarcasm. Thank you. You have a non-sexual girl crush on me, peace lady. I love you for that. That is so kind. Share. Everyone has a crush on me and you're married. I love to hear that. I love to hear that. Dial up the flirt, you guys. Dial it up. Annika's mom. Thank you. I have a crush on you and Tommy together, Joy. That's adorable. I don't on Tommy, but I do on Sterling. Of course you do. I mean, there's someone for everyone, right? You either like that crimmy, that crimmy touch. Uh, I have the Colty touch. He's a bit crimmy. Uh, Sterling is not crimmy in any way. Sterling is very adorable and polished. Reese, would you like to live in Clearwater? You would be close to Aaron. What a fascinating question. Possibly, yeah. I don't know the ins and outs of the weather there and see like how shiny I am right here and it's dry and cold. I'm worried that my makeup is just going to sweat off and then how am I going to have a YouTube channel? Uh, thank you so much for becoming a member, my friend. Mark has a crush on me and Tommy. Mark, I knew you had a crush on me, but not Tommy and I'm okay with it. I'm not hurt. Um, Don Gloves RN, you changed your name. I recognize your uh, XOXO PRN. iOS will not allow purchase of Google products. If you copy the link and paste it into Google Chrome, not Safari or a PC or a u or user a PC. Dang girl, that's a lot of hoops to jump through to become a member. Thank you. And thank you for your super chat. Thank you, Hockey Town John. Um, I love that, Millie. I'd be lying if I said you weren't in the bank, Reese. Oh my God, I love that so much. You have a crush on Bo. He's pretty cute. Um, I kind of like the crammy look. Um, it's just, I don't know if it's, I, it's just, uh, it's a thing for me. I've always been a little, uh, it's probably a culty thing. Colts and crims. That's our name. That's me and Tommy. Little culty, little crimmy. What are you going to do? Um, crimmy and culty goes well together. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Um, okay. Okay. So here's the thing. This girl takes your story, whoever she interviews and then she and her dad watch it together and then they give their feedback um, on, on her, he gives his, you know, dad point of view on it. And I think that is such a cool concept. Um, do the dogs belong to you or Jeff? They belong to me. They're both mine, paid for them. One of them I had before we got married. The other one I got when we were married, but I bought him. So um, I don't know how that works. Um, 
and let's just hope that uh, it stays that way. And um, he and his weird family member don't try to do something to my animals because that's that's for whatever reason is a concern. Where have you been, Denver Stevo? Your lying and narcissism are what drew me to you. Okay, he wins for the day. He wins for the day. Denver Stevo, that is, we guys, let's put that on a t-shirt and put my name on the t-shirt so that we know that I'm the narcissistic liar. Reese, you're lying and narcissism. <laughs> your toxicity, or what I'm drawn to, turns me on, your toxic self. That is so sexy, Denver Stevo, and I've missed you, and I just didn't know uh, where you were, my friend, and I couldn't be happier about how I turn you on. Um, Hockey Town, John. Uh, Reese, since we're in full flirt mode today, let Laura Font know that if she ever needs a side piece, I'm her man. Um, Laura, did you get that? I'm happy to be matchmaker in here. I uh, wanted you to know my favorite face mask just got here at the house, and I'm smiling ear to ear watching you. Being in the chat this uh, with this watermelon mask, crushing on all of you, I'm not far from Clearwater. Really? I'd love to meet you, babe. Thank you for your super chat, and I bet you're really enjoying that. Uh, thank you, my chemical 74. <laughs> Reese has two types. Former criminal, love you, Tommy, no hate. Or a man that would need a walker. Oh, God, I love you, Reese. Never, ever change. That is so true. That is so true. Um, former felon, or are they former, or do you just stay a felon? I don't even know, but let's just say felon. Or great, great granddad. Okay. Um, yeah. Little crimmy, little culty. <laughs> it's a little bit of both. Um, but I'm a bit of a liar and I'm a bit of a narcissist because of my cult background. And I am here to say my name is Reese and I'm a narcissistic liar. Please, please. Um, Criminal walker, double whammy. Ooh, you know, that is kind of sexy if you think about it, like a really old man that was a mob boss that's just retired. Um, would you date a former Scientologist? Uh, probably, yeah. I wouldn't be against that. It wouldn't be a hard no for me. Oh, well, look at that. Ren B, she's one of my closest friends. I'm glad you became a member. It makes me feel warm inside. Thank you, Ren. Uh, love you, Buffy Summers. And I'm so glad that you come in here and talk and chat with us, Buffy. It means a lot. And I know it means a lot to you too. Laura Font has really nice, bodacious Bahama Mamas. Nobody has her beat with her Bahama Mamas. I wish I could find the picture she posted of herself. I wish I could find it real quick, but I don't know if I can. Dang. Let's see. She posted, guys, it's worth looking for. Laura Font. You guys know what she looks like because we met her in Seattle. She has some serious boobs. And she posted a really hot. Laura, you don't mind, do you? Well, hell's bells. How do I find it? Oh, here it is. Look at this. You're not going to believe it. Whoa, hello, boobs. Hello, boobs. Look at those things. Hello, boobs. Okay, my boobs have never met. Now that's what my thighs look like. My thighs certainly, uh, certainly love each other and, uh, you know, hang out together all the time. My boobs, never, never gonna happen. But yeah, I am very jealous of those things. At the same time, I'm not. Laura, I don't know because um, they look heavy. I'm going to be honest. Like I had a friend who had huge boobs like that. And she was like, you can't button a shirt. They weigh you down. Now I already have the tummy that weighs me down. Like my tum is bigger than my boobs. So is it going to be worse? Like if I got big boobs, would I just like walk all day like this? Because it's just now it's just double whammy. It's just doubled down. It's just the worst combo you can think of. I don't know. But um Oh my God, you don't like my music. That's hilarious. Uh, yeah, back pain. Thank you, Dirty Mouse. 
uh, yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't, I don't know how I feel. As, as attractive as they are and as, um, are the dogs sensitive to what's going on? I'm sure. Yeah, my dogs are pretty, pretty sensitive. Ace and K, you're uh, eye rolling that I'm a narcissist. You know, I leave it to the experts. Jeff and his family are the experts. And uh, we're not going to question that. We're not going to question that. I didn't grow up being an expert. I grew up in a cult. So what they say, I'm going to take it uh, face value. If they say I'm a narcissistic liar, then um, surely that's truth. And we'll adopt that as so, as such. Um, hey, Amber. So that podcast went really well. I know that Debbie C that podcast went really well. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. You don't mind Denver Steve. I bet you don't. He's a boob man. He's definitely a boob guy. Um, so guys, it was, um, I want to say this gaslighting with Reese. Yes, Kristen. Um, I am an expert with a narcissistic mother and ex-husband and you are far from that. Well, we got to stick with what they say, sadly, because that is truth. And that is, what they want the world to know. So I thought I would pass on their message so that they don't have to. I thought I would put it out here for uh, for you guys to know. And, um, you know, the best uh, disinfectant is the sunlight. Is that what they say? Something like that. Who knows? Anyway. Um, it's okay. Danny, you have a counseling degree? Fancy. Look at you. Did you want to weigh in on this, Danny? You know, we should get one of our experts therapists in here. We should get Elizabeth Bates or only Gretchen, just Gretchen, Gretchen only. I think that's what she goes by. Um, come on, baby, gas my light. <laughs> it is hard to get any of that to stick. Gretchen, please, please weigh in on this. I need an expert. Uh, will I be going live again tonight, Andy? No. Uh, Tommy Scoville? No, no one said boobs. Put your earmuffs on, please. Um, but Danny Mitchell is an expert and he does not think I'm a narcissist. Gretchen, do you think so? Do you weigh in on this with the uh, with the family? It is not, Anna Banana. It's okay, guys. We expected this. We expected this and... Uh, You're not acting right. Okay. Uh, we, yeah, we, uh, guys, this is nothing surprising and um, it's okay. I don't know, Rhonda, it's a weird, it's a weird concept. Um, why do people confront you then get mad when you tell your story on your channel? I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's actually very kind of Scientology. Oh, you second Danny's assessment? So you don't think so? Yeah. Janet G, about boobs, I had a double mastectomy and decided not to do reconstructive surgery. Go to a mastectomy store and try on a special bra. They are really nice and some prosthesis. Okay. Um, I think that that's probably not for me. I don't mind my boobs. I'm so sorry that you had a double mastectomy, but I hope that you are okay now. Um, but I don't really want them. Oh, here's our doctor in the chat. You are not a narcissist. Guys, I don't need, I appreciate this very much, but uh, thank you, Tommy. I don't actually need anybody to weigh in on it because I'll tell you what, I've done a lot of healing in this past year and three months that I've been out. Uh, neither one of the people that called me that are seeing therapists or doing anything to help themselves. And I truly believe in therapy a lot. I think it's, um, I think it's just incredibly helpful healing. Um, I also believe, um, I've been on both sides of it now and I am almost 40. Okay. And I have seen enough at this point, people in their older ages. So like forties, fifties, sixties, they get super um, kind of neurotic, uh, erratic, um, kind of like the conversation that just went on upstairs. You can tell 
it's kind of like people bleed all over you that didn't, what is it? Um, if you don't heal what cut you, you'll bleed all over people who didn't hurt you or whatever. I don't know how it goes, but what I'm trying to say is that was a good example of spilling like all that drama and saying Reese is an evil person. And she's just trying to take uh no Huxley's at school. She's just trying to, um, all the things that were just said about me is like, Reese is so evil. Reese is narcissistic. Reese is a liar. Reese is um, throwing people under the bus because that's what Scientologists do. Reese is a really terrible person. What, whatever, whatever she was saying. That to me bounces right off of me these days. I don't absorb it anymore because I am healing. I am doing it every week and it's hard. It's not easy. Therapy is not easy, but I look forward to it. I love it. And I know that it's helping me. And that's probably, yeah, massive projection. That's probably one of the reasons I don't come on here going finger pointing at everybody. And I don't even say how much I hate Dan. I've made this example. I don't even talk about how much I hate my father. I hate Dan O'Connor and I wish the worst for them. And I don't do all that because you know what? I've got my own stuff, like trauma I got to deal with and heal. Um, those people are never, think about it. They're going to die one day, not dealing with what they need help with in life. That is who's really suffering. That's the sad one. Um, I feel good about where I am. I feel good about um, getting stronger every day. I feel good about the mother I'm becoming. Um, I'm unpacking stuff. So it's hard for me to go, can you believe that person said that about me? It's not true. And I want to scream it from the rooftops. I don't care what they say. I don't care where they say it. Um, it's not true. And I'm pretty comfortable in my skin at this point about what I know. Uh, that was it. They said something about Fred, which that did piss me off. That kind of went under the, um, it was a little below the belt for me. His sister said, um, uh, do you, uh, did she do this to Fred? And Jeff said, uh, no, but she would have. It was only a matter of time. She would have sold him out and thrown him under the bus just as much. And, uh, I thought that kind of gets to me. I mean, it, it's not, it got to me for a minute, but I thought what, uh, it, it's hard for me when you speak to other people too. Like it's hard for me when you say she would have done that to him. Done what? How do you know my marriage to Fred? How do you know what Fred and I had? You don't like, how can you even jump out of your lane, hop the curb and go, no, but it would have happened. I guarantee it. It's such a weird concept to me when people do that in the first place. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. Um, The point is, I don't even, I wouldn't even come on here right now and say Jeff's a bad guy. I don't think Jeff is a bad guy. Jeff has done so many nice things for me since I've met him. He's, he's, uh, you know, I have good memories just like I do with my dad. Okay. So there are things that, um, I can speak to that weren't all bad. I told you guys this, it's not all bad. It's not always bad. We have very good times. We have good moments. You've seen it yourself. I can't come on here and go, it's all terrible, poor me. It's not. We have a typical marriage with typical problems. And I have a YouTube channel where I come and talk about problems. And one of the reasons that I bring these problems up is because it does help other people too. I have gotten so many other people saying, thank you for speaking up about your issue. I'm having the same issue and it helps me to, to hear about it. Guys, this is a healing channel. So as much as these people want to try to, and I don't think Jeff's trying to make me look like a bad person. Um, when I listened to him on that call, he stood up for me a couple of times and he was like, you know, he, he just said, Reese doesn't know anything because if she's a Scientologist and you know, he, he definitely thinks I'm pretty, pretty stupid. Jeff, I think, believes that I'm very much an idiot in a lot of ways. But I also think he thinks I'm smart in a lot of ways. But I think he thinks that I don't know anything and I don't know how people work and I don't know how uh, real conversations are supposed to go. That kind of stuff is not true. And um, 
But I have to say, he's not a bad guy. He's not a bad guy. It's not a bad, it's not, it's, it's just is where we're at in life at this point. And um, I think that his family has never liked me. And um, I think that they have said a lot of things over the years behind my back. They think I'm a terrible mother to Huxley. And I think that they just have their own specific way of, when you meet some, like th these people are very, they met me and they decided they didn't like me right away. There's no changing it. I don't care how many Christmases you go to or, you know, um, that's just what they decided. Who am I to change that? I mean, I've never really cared probably because of my Scientology background about that kind of, you know, what, what people think of me there. I, I, there's nothing I can do about it. And to be honest, Rosie B, thank you. Um, to be honest, guys, when it comes to people like that, I never val valued your opinion in the first place. I'm sure she's watching right now. I never valued your opinion in the first place. And I don't, especially now. So, um, Swedish Lena, thank you for becoming a member, my friend. Um, uh, Casey Cat, that's a good question. Did they not like Jeff married someone younger? Um, well, I can't really speak to why. Um, I don't think it had anything to do with the age. I think it's one of those things I just, um, I'm not religious. I'm not what they want me to be. They had an expectation of what I need to be. And they told me very strongly, like, you need to be this way. You need to do this. Why aren't you doing this? They're, this particular individual is extreme meddler, extremely opinionated. Extre and, and I've heard this from many members in his family. So I'm not the only one. As a matter of fact, I was kind of warned. Like this person is extremely over the top with their views, their opinion. They're very pushy. Every family probably has one. I wouldn't know because I don't have any family. Um, what did they think of his first wife? Hated her. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, and I'm not, I'm not saying this so that you guys can form this opinion. I'm just, again, these are facts that I'm giving you so that, I mean, it also helps me to talk through this. It is therapeutic. I come on a channel and do that. This is not my way of throwing somebody under the bus. This is just my way of, of working out how I feel about it. And, um, yeah, this person is extremely unpleasant. This isn't a shock. I knew this from pretty much day one. Um, this person tore me down almost immediately about a lot of the ways that I live my life. Didn't like the way I mother. Uh, didn't like that I wasn't getting married in a church. I got married in a country club. Like that was very upsetting to this person and um, all kinds of things that were very personal. Things about Fred. This person came to me and they were like, why did you do that? Like it was just, they're very kind of psychotic with, you know, it was very shocking to me that I was like, why are you crossing boundaries? Like, why are you upset with how I mother? You have children of your own. I would never comment on how you raised your children. It's just a, it's a weird concept to me. And then it's like, and you think Scientologists are weird. Then I go back to that. And I'm like, and I'm the weird one. Like I at least stay in my life. I stay in my own lane. I may not know boundaries and I may not know a lot. Um, yes, this person is married. I may not know a lot, but I know to stay out of stuff like that. Like I don't, I never, I always thought it was weird and I always thought this is uh, not comfortable for me, but it was extreme projecting and um, a little bit of, I think, trying to control, you know, the, the situation. Um, why don't you block her? I did, Meryl. I did. Um, and, and this isn't alive to... It's just funny because I just listened to Jeff go, please don't do this because you're just going to unleash even more and she's going to go on and talk about it. Now, I'm not giving any information about this person. I'm not going to trash them like that. I'm not going to give personal details. I'm giving details to what was done to me. There's, that's a little different, right? Um, this pertains to me because it's about me and you attacked me. And um, I mean, I can tell you right now, I'm not a liar. I'm definitely not a liar, but this person wants to choose to believe that. Deborah Ritter, thank you for becoming a member. And I just don't play dirty this way. And I don't yell. And this person was yelling into the phone. And that's another, um, to me, you guys know I get triggered by yelling. That's another bad indicator um, that I don't want to associate with you. People who use yelling, I think, is to... Um, 
intimidate, control, you know? And I think that's how uh, she's probably gotten by her whole life is trying to bully, intimidate people. And uh, is this person an ex-Scientologist? No, but they are extremely religious. Um, it's just a lot of drama and I'm not gonna use my channel for this, but I will tell you that uh, I am at a, at a tough point right now. This is probably the hardest point. Are they jealous of your lip stains? You would think so, Shelly, but I will tell you, I've never seen this individual wear an ounce of makeup, so I don't think so. Um, I am at a tough point. I'm at a tough point, and you guys know it. They know it. Um, Osa knows it. So, you know, uh, being real is part of this channel, being healing, going through healing, going through tough times, going through fun times, getting my pap smear. All of these things come up on my channel. The fact that I burned my forehead on a curling iron and I'm fairly embarrassed about it because I had to get my passport picture done yesterday and it's permanent. That's a shame. Um, so we're just talking it out. We're just talking about it. I'm not here to go, that person's awful. That person's terrible. I'm not even going to say the terrible things they said about me. I'm just telling you the things, I'm repeating the things this individual said. And I, and I don't consider Jeff a bad guy. I really don't. I'm married to him, guys. He's my husband. But this is real life and marriage has problems. And um, not all of it is Jeff. By, by far and away, not all of it is Jeff. I'm definitely guilty of things, okay? Please don't, please don't uh, take that the wrong way either. That I've said things I shouldn't have said. I've probably reacted to things in terrible ways. Um, so it's not all Jeff. And it never could be all Jeff. It's a two-way street. And, and I'm aware of that too. So um, thank you, Tina. The other thing, yeah. <laughs> I'm laughing because I can hear Jeff watching my show upstairs. It's echoing and uh, yeah, I mean, guys, you know Jeff. You make up your mind about Jeff. Jeff isn't a bad guy, and I'm not here to call him a bad guy. Um, I don't I don't think of him that way, and um, I want to make that clear. I don't think he's a bad guy. I think this person meddling is not the best way to go about things, and I think he um, made a good point to this person. Like, you really don't want to do that. You're just going to make it worse. Well, that's true. I am going to come on and talk about things. Imagine going through all this and having to also note and worry, know that Osa knows you are so bad. <laughs> Thank you, babe. Question, do you think she's watching right now? I absolutely do. Yeah, I absolutely do. And um, she's welcome to be here. I wish she'd speak up. I'd love to uh, have her pop on. Thank you, Brian Bolin. Uh, but there are things that, uh, honestly, I don't think that I probably should have come on and talked about this. Again, it was not expected. I didn't, this was all happened right before I went live. Um, and it just happened to, uh, to be the, what happened today. So uh, people make mistakes and I don't ever intend to speak to this person again. I mean, it's one of those things, you know, you intentionally said what you said and I don't want to mend fences because I never felt good about the person in the first place. They gave me bad vibes from the get-go. Um, she should become a member. I think Jeff loves me, guys. I think Jeff is supportive of me. I think Jeff knows. That's the other thing is she called him trying to say, like, your wife is a horrible person. Do you know what she's saying about you? I heard Jeff's response. He was like, yes, I know. I don't love it, but she has a YouTube channel and she's going to say what she's going to say. Um, I actually admired Jeff for that. You know, this channel is not to, yeah, nobody hates Jeff. This channel is not to take Jeff down. This channel is to unfold what's happened to me since I got out of Scientology, everyday life stuff, Scientology stuff. Speaking of Scientology, Katie Pye, I agree. You gifted a membership, Lori. Thank you. Yeah, Joy, absolutely. Um, speaking of Scientology, totally switching the subject here. 
Um, if Tommy is still in here, I kind of want him to confirm it. Um, tomorrow night, I think we're going to do this tomorrow night. Um, Reese is the furthest thing from a narcissist. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm a narcissist, but um, again, I leave that up to the experts and clearly this woman is an expert. Um, tomorrow night, so Tommy and I were talking. He has never... I know, Armine. He has never done um, a live with me about my story, my Scientology story. We've never even really talked Scientology. And so kind of professional, Kate. Yeah. So tomorrow night, um, we want to, he wants to do an interview on me about it, kind of like Aaron did. And I think I don't talk about it enough. And I thought it was a good idea. Um Sweet koala, very well could be. Are you codependent because of the cult? I think there's a lot of things I am because of that cult. Hey, screen addict. Um, I think there's a lot of things because of that cult. Yeah. So I think tomorrow night we're going to do an interview. Tommy wants to interview me about it. And I think that's actually a really good idea. Um, yeah, Deb S. I love Deb S. Some people never develop good communication skills when under stress or angry. It's not uncommon. It's definitely a problem, though. That's a good point, Deb. Is Aaron okay? I have not spoken to Aaron. I have no idea. So tomorrow night, um, yeah, I think I think that's a great idea to talk to Tommy about the story. And then this Saturday, I'm going to do something with um, uh, da, 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 Miriam which I am really excited about. I have to be honest, she, <laughs> I love you, Blake. <laughs> Thank you, declared Dave, love suppressive Sherry. Um, yeah, I, I just thought that would be a great idea. And so this Saturday, I'm gonna do something with Miriam. So I thought we should do something kind of close together, like talk about the story for, cause there's also, there's also a lot of new people on this channel. There's also quite a few new people. So I thought this is a good idea to talk about it, kind of refresher. And then Saturday, I have a feeling it's going to be pretty emotional. Miriam and I are going to talk and get to know each other. And I'm really excited about that. I have to say, I'm really excited about it. Um, and um, I have a feeling hopefully a lot of people are going to watch it. And um, thank you, Joy. Yeah. Amina, I'm here for you, girl. I'm glad you have your channel to talk to. I'm going through a similar thing in my marriage and I feel like crap and no one to talk to. Absolutely. Yeah, I get that, babe. It helps to talk about it. It really does, Amina. It's, it's therapeutic. Now, Jeff and his family don't understand that, but this is my journey. I'm not doing it for kicks. I'm not doing it because I want to get um, um views or like subs. I, I, this truly has become my life and I, and I enjoy it and I've made good friends and connections and, um, yeah, so it is what it is. Uh, Kate and Lurker here. I never comment. Enjoy your videos, not just about Scientology about, but about therapy and your healing process. Lots of women struggle with this in silence. Keep speaking up and finding your strength. What a beautiful thing to say, Kate Ann. Thank you so much for saying something. I appreciate it. Reese, uh, when I got out of Scientology, I had no one to talk to you. Now there are so many out there talking about it that feels safe or vindicated. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And it's not, you know, I said that on the podcast today because she was asking me about my channel. And I said, it's not for everybody. You know, not all Scientologists are going to walk out wanting to open up and talk about this. Some people, that's not how they heal. And that's not therapy. I personally find it very helpful and therapeutic to come on this channel and talk about all of the things that are bothering me, not just Scientology, all of the things and learning new things. There's so many things I don't know that I'm naive about. Um, Stephanie, been here since before the doxing. I am not a big chatter and lots of replay crew, but a follow, but a follow from before you had 100 followers. Wow. Love seeing you daily and talking all about your paps, hubs too. <laughs> She said it, guys. It's so nice. Thank you, Stephanie. You're just speaking your truth and it's amazing. Yeah. And I think that's something that um, Jeff tried to actually explain to this person was like, 
she has a voice now and she's using it and I don't necessarily approve of it. I don't think it's a good thing. Some of the things she says and, you know, she's a liar and um, throws people under the bus. And he said, that's not her fault because that's what they're taught. And that's her training in Scientology. And he did say that he said, she's a total liar, but they're taught to lie and they're trained to do these things. Now that I disagree with, I don't agree, but um, he, so what he's, you know, I think he tried, I think he tried to be helpful. Um, Okay. Um, so, you know, Keela, thank you, babe. Hey, Bo Beats. Keela, that is so nice of you. Flowers don't ask what they should do. They just bloom. Oh my God. I love people who, first time I've caught you live, you really have helped me with your channel. You are beautiful and special. Don't stop being you. Jinx, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How are you here before the doxing? I think she meant like she's she watched Aaron, maybe. I'm not sure. Thank you, Katie Ann. You're welcome. I think it's really inspiring and empowering to see you speak your truth and make changes in your life. Thank you. Guys, it's just real stuff. And that's something that Jeff is probably never going to fully understand. Um, and that's where he and I really differ. And that's unfortunate. And we can't seem to come together and understand that about each other. Um, and, and I have to be honest, I don't understand a lot of things about him. So it's it's not all his fault. Millie, Reese, as with the other, uh, every other part of the journey you've shared with us, there are people who relate and make changes. You're leading others just by being you. Just keep being honest. Just keep be wait, just keep on being just that. Thank you, babe. I love you, Millie. I'm so glad you made it. I'm, I love seeing you in here. I don't know, Stephanie. I haven't seen a join button uh, when on my iPhone. Do you have? Do we have to sign up for memberships on a computer? I really don't know. Hockey Town John, thank you, thank you, thank you. Cornelius, you look like a princess, Reese. Wow. Uh, yes, Heather. Thank you. Oh, it's Professor Kate. Duh. I'm trying to tell my. I called you professional. That was really lame of me. So sorry. It's that Scientology. I don't know the world. I'm first to say it. I'm trying to tell my students how horrible Scientology is, but I can't seem to convey it in a moving way. You are wonderful at communicating the message. Thank you so much. Oh, boy. Tell Tommy to quit texting you. Um, it's actually not, it's not Tommy, guys. I've got a lot of people texting me at this point, just uh, concerned. Uh, Midnight Show, thank you so much. Wow, Pamela, SP Butterfly, that's amazing. Casey Cat, thank you. That is so amazing to me that you guys can gift memberships. Janet from Another Planet, love you, girl. Thank you for your super sticker. I hope no one took this as me being like a terrible person today. I really didn't expect to bring this up. I didn't expect for this to happen. Uh, I had a whole different thing I was going to talk about, but that just really hit the fan and that person. Um, okay, Tommy, are you in for tomorrow night? Um, that person really went off uh, talking about what a terrible person I am and uh, said I was like super mentally unstable and should have never married me. And, you know, maybe that's all true. I don't think the mentally unstable part is true. I'm actually feeling so much more stable since I left Scientology. Also, I feel very stable that I'm seeing a therapist every week. And my therapist, therapist who got a degree in this, um, has said how much progress I've made. Like he tells me every week, he's like, you are doing so great. Like the, the growth in you. So who am I going to listen to? You know? Yeah, I, I'm glad I brought it up. It does help. Laura, what was I going to talk about? I was just going to talk about the um, podcast I did. And also, um, I just want to do a more deep Scientology talk at some point. I'm not going to do it today um, because this kind of threw me off. Tommy, you can unblock me now. Don't be scared. I'll behave. Uh, Bo Beats, I hope he does unblock you. Tommy, I love Bo Beats, and I don't know why she was blocked, so I don't want to get involved too much, but just know I really love Bo Beats, and she's a great person. She's been super supportive of me, and that should be enough for you to 
unblock her, babe, because I know Tommy is super supportive. Kevin Conklin, speaking of being supportive, you are so nice. You are not terrible. You're a beautiful blooming flower. Thank you, Kevin. You have said the nicest things in the Facebook group. Thank you. Has she been talking to Dan? They might be in cahoots. I don't know. Thank you, Ace and K. Catherine Debbage, thank you. You love that color on me. Thank you. <laughs> Kristen. I just wish people would um, not do that. I think it's weird. I think it's weird for someone in a family to call and like get super involved in drama and stir a pot. And it's like, Jeff is almost 66 years old. He's, 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 he's good. He's okay. He can handle his own and he's married and he has responsibilities and a mortgage and you don't really need to hold his hand through this. You know, that's the part that I think, um, I think bothers me the most is, uh, you never blocked Bo Beats. Better figure it out. Um, thank you, Tammy. That's the only thing that I have. We I always thought was weird. Uh, how can we hear the podcast, Jody T? It it's I'm going to put it uh, up and link it when it comes out, which I think will be in a week or two. Uh, love you, Linda G. I love Bo Beats. Get unblock that girl. Free Bo Beats. Um, Reese, tell me your lip stain color. It's called Paris Red. It's the lip stain from Sephora. That's the only thing. I hate when adults do that. It's like, you're seriously meddling. Like you've already ste overstepped and said what a terrible mother I am and things like that. But it's like, he's 66 almost. Like get a life, get over yourself. That's weird. It's weird, okay? He can hold his own. He can handle his own self. When you when you retell your origin story, please don't leave out the ice cube. You've come so far from that ice cube. Oh, better together. I love you. I'll be sure to do that. We'll prompt Tommy to ask me about it. I'm kind of excited. Tommy's going to interview me. He's going to have questions. Nuts and board. I have not seen you in forever. How are you, my friend? Thank you for the super sticker. Yes, she's, she has went on and on about what a bad mother I am and not supportive of my child and I should be doing all kinds of other things and I'm not doing those things and that makes me terrible. Again, that hasn't really bothered me because I don't value this person's opinion um, at all, like not even a little bit. So, uh, and I value it, like now this person totally doesn't exist to me at all. I'll never see this person again. And, you know, if they try to show up on my property, they're going to... Um, they're going to leave because it is my property. So uh, yeah, better not, better not be uh, stepping over here. Sherry Davidson. Thank you so much. Hi, Amy Lee SP. Geo planet Jane. I'm so sorry. You're going to join at Penelope level Joe virus. I don't think twice about it. My friend, I would not worry at all about becoming a member. I just love you and your wife. It just makes the situation worse is all it does. And, and that is what this person has done since I've met her. I have heard from so many other family members, this person just stirs pots, just goes from place to place, just starting little fires. And, you know, she's moved on to me. And uh, that's not going to last very long. Mrs. Valentine, thank you for becoming a member. Susan, thank you. Thank you, Susan. Catherine Debbage, I hope I did say it right. That's awesome. Sherry Davidson, thank you for your super sticker, babe. Joe Cousins, thanks for becoming a member. I'm in and out of the shadows, but support you. You do you. Nuts and board, I'm just happy to see you. <laughs> Bo Beats, you're hilarious. Better keep that fax machine locked and loaded by the door just in case. I have a concealed carry for my fax machine. Yeah, I carry it around. So look out. I am a huge supporter of Office Depot. Kathy loves horses. Thank you for your super sticker, my friend. 
witchy Trista, you're hilarious. Why the hell does she even watch you? I don't know. I think like Tommy said to me once, your haters are going to watch you way more. And I never thought of that. I never thought of that. Marty, thank you for the super sticker. It is a sad existence. It's a sad existence when you sit there and watch somebody that you hate. Um, love you, Ursina. Get some sleep, girl. Miserable people spread misery. Yes, this person I think is probably pretty miserable. Thank you, Sarah Bell. Julie Denny, yeah, I'll definitely go visit my sister. Haters be paying the bills. I actually said that when I sent her a text. I said, keep watching. It gets me views. That's great. Keep it up, girl. It's spread it around the family. Let's pump those numbers. Those are rookie numbers. We got to get those numbers up. Tell all your hater friends, please. Just keep it going. Just uh, start playing my playlists if you don't mind. She's having a fantastic time screaming at the screen, I bet. Probably. Hate watching is a real thing on YouTube. I had no idea. I really didn't hate watching. It's crazy. Joanne, uh, I watch you because you are so open and honest. I can't think of another person who's just like you. I enjoy you and it gives me courage to be more open and honest myself. That is a beautiful thing, Joanne. Please keep doing that. I love it. Thank you for saying that. I agree, Buffy. It's truly sad that this person has nothing better to do than waste energy watching someone they dislike. It's uh, sad. And again, it just boosts my views, I guess. So I, that's, you know, half full. Let's look at it that way. Janet G., Reese, your growth has been a privilege to witness. You are strong, compassionate, and brilliantly unique. Thank you, babe. Thank you for saying that. Even down votes, push up your channel. Oh my God. See, I don't know anything about the analytics of things. Thank you, Gretchen only. God, you guys, there's 1,100 people in here. Um, for those of you that actually like me and want to be here, please make sure you're subscribed because uh, we have issues with that, YouTube unsubscribing you. Haters become your biggest supporters. Apparently so. I guess it's a thing. I didn't even know. Uh, therapy is uh, the most to unscientology thing you could do. Yes, it is. You are amazing and strong and help us all with our crap. Love you. I now must gear up to call tech support in my membership. Thank you, Tony Suter. I love you, girl. And you make a good point. You know, I heard um, them talking about it upstairs and going on saying like, she just lies to her therapist too. She's just lying all the time. And I was like, are you there? Like, am I wearing a wire? How do you know this? It's just... Those kinds of silly accusations are like summing a person up. I always kind of laugh at because I'm like, oh, no, I just lost my earring. I got to put it back on this. This is that earring I got in Seattle. Remember when I said, are these old lady looking? I thought they were kind of cool. They're opals. Um, yeah, I don't lie to my therapist. What would be the point of paying for therapy? It seems very counterproductive. That's okay, Gretchen. Love you, Rachel Harmon. When you watch something religiously and can't miss it and comment on it, you are a fan. Hate to break that news to her. <laughs> I know, Renby, it's so weird. Yes, Big Z, I would. Jenny C, your channel is changing my life. Thank you, Reese. Jenny, that means the world to me. This is the kind of stuff that matters to me and nothing else really does. So that's why I keep moving forward. And this is the goal, what Jenny C just said. You know, people like um, the family that's trying to attack me and bring me down. To me, those are like chihuahuas nipping at your heels. Those are like dogs chasing a fire truck. Like I have bigger fish to fry. I have a whole channel with 20,000 people who want to heal, who want to talk about real life, whether it be good or bad, marriage, cults, problems, crims. Tommy, we're looking at you. Um, you know, we have real stuff that we get into here. We get into the thick of it. We get into the guts of it. You know, um, you're crazy is kind of showing when you do that, when you call and attack somebody who's just trying to help and talks about real life stuff. So, you know, bugger off. And thank you so much. 
for gifting those. Bo Beats, new profile pic. See you, lady. Oh, you're such a babe, Bo. You're so cute. I love Bo Beats. Thank you, babe. Lone Dinosaur, thank you for becoming, becoming a member. You're being gaslit? Yeah, the problem is I'm not being gaslit because I see right through it. Yes, Matt's mom forever. It is safe to say that. Thank you, Jamie. We're your family now. We love you, Reese. That's the thing about family, guys. You don't have to be a Scientologist to be ugly and to disconnect and to throw people under and try to burn people and start fires. And, you know, I find it's interesting. There is no unconditional love either there. It's it's kind of fascinating. Um, I only know Scientology and how family treats family and Scientology. But even coming out of this and seeing it, Ah, oh, he fixed it, Bo. Thank you, Tommy. That means a lot to me, Tommy. Thank you for doing that. Um, Brian Bolin, nice to see you as well. Um, guys, that uh, goes to show you, it, you don't have to be a Scientologist to throw family under the bus and to be awful. Um, this person has always fired shots at me. I've not fired them back because I don't care about this person. They're not in my life. They don't matter to me. I don't care about their opinion. It doesn't matter. But this person is always, I've always mattered to them. I take up a lot of space in her head for whatever reason. So it just kind of shows you that like, you don't have to be a Scientologist to be gnarly, to treat people badly. Um, you could be a Christian. My word. Uh, that is also kind of patronizing to the therapist. They're actually trained to parse out untruth. That's true, Renby. Yeah, I would think why it would be questioning me and saying, now, is that true? You kind of seem like you're lying to me. We actually talked about that. He said that he has patients who lie to him and he will fire them as a therapist. He was like, I don't like people who um, lie. I was asking him about it. So, um, you know, um, that's a good point, Brittany. People will say almost anything when called out. They want to avoid shame. You're one of the most vulnerable, 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 honest people. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you for saying that. I agree, Tony. So it's like you're you're almost hurting Jeff more than you're hurting me. You're gonna hurt for sure. You're gonna hurt Jeff more because Jeff values you. You know, va values your opinion, cares about you, loves you. It's like you're actually. It's like when two parents fight, the kid suffers. That's what's happening here. I'm not suffering. I don't value you. I never cared about you. And I think you're, I always thought you were a bad person. I saw the little fires that you started behind the scenes. I was warned about you. Um, it's no secret that you try to hurt people. So you're actually hurting Jeff more than you're hurting me. And he's the one that's going to have to live with that. Not me. You know, the damage that you're doing you know what I mean? Uh, trying to hurt her own family member. I, yeah. Ellen Gomez, you're so strong and wow, so much growth, babe. These people are erratic and scary just to be, just be safe, please. So worried for you. If you need to leave, leave, I'll rent you an Airbnb if I have to. Ellen, that's so kind of you. Thank you. I'm fine. Um, I just almost feel bad, honestly. I don't think Jeff is a, is a bad person. Again, he's my husband. I don't think Jeff is a bad person at all. I love Jeff um, very deeply. But Ellen, thank you. It makes me a little sad. I wish that Jeff could actually shift the way he sees it. She's being a Scientologist by doing what she's doing. You know, it's like you're kind of behind the curtain starting all this stuff up and, and you're yelling at your, you know, your family member about it. And Again, this only hurts him. It doesn't hurt me because I've never, never cared um, the person's point of view. Doesn't sound like she cares about Jeff either. Yeah, she gets energy from the drama. I've told Jeff that for years, though. Like this person feeds on drama, you know. That's the way I see it too. She's demeaning to Jeff. He should be insulted that she tries to control his marriage. He's not a child. Yeah. Question, is she obsessed with you? Uh, I seem to take up a lot of space in her head. I don't know what, I can't speak if someone's obsessed or not, but I know. Um... Bye, Tommy. 
Yes, Bo Beats, we do. I, I, I actually feel bad for Jeff here. I do. Because Jeff and I are the married couple and uh, we don't need a babysitter. You know, we just don't. And Jeff knows, that's the other thing is, that's what I love about Jeff. Jeff knows me. He knows my style. He knows what I do. He watches my channel. I don't say anything on here that I don't want Jeff to know about. Clearly, there's 1,144 people watching. Do you think I'm really trying to keep it all from Jeff? No. And so for you to call and go, do you know what a horrible person this person is? It's like, he even was like, um, I know my wife, you know? Yeah. She doesn't care about Jeff. She only calls him because she knows she'll get to start taking jabs at Reese because it's like a drug and Jeff's her dealer. Wow, Blake. Holy shit. That's powerful. Right on, on point though. Blake is always on point. Yeah. Reese in situations like this one, no one wins. I agree, Brian. Yeah, Jeff, if anyone talks negative about Reese, just say, mind your business. Your relationship with Reese comes first. I wish he felt that way, but um, it's very much the opposite of that. Has Jeff been on camera? He's been on my channel so many times, countless times. Yeah. Nothing to hide here, guys. Nothing to hide. I've talked about our marriage issues all this time, this whole six months of this channel. This is even all of you said when I talked about it the other day, you were like, this is nothing new. This is nothing shocking. Like you guys have been going through issues. Yes. Yeah. So. Yeah, I know Buffy. Uh, someone close to me always says hurting people hurt people. Yeah. Healthy people help people. Yeah. Yeah. So it's too bad. It's too bad that it's come to this drama. I kind of want to apologize to you guys because this wasn't the point. Um, hi, Jen Nelson. I, I'm not going to continue to come on this channel every day and make it about this. This is not a new reality show that we're going to do that. Thank you, True To It. Um, what happens with me and Jeff is, is whatever is going to happen to us. And um, just know that it will be done with love, whatever we do, whatever we choose to do. Guys, I am not a hateful person. Um, I love Jeff. I, again, I can't say it enough. I think he's a great person. He's taken good care of me. He's done a lot of good things for me. Um, I do not, I've never had a lot of respect for some of his family members because I saw immediately the drama and, um, and um, just the fires that this person started. And I always had my eye on it. And I thought, oh, that's a red flag if I ever saw one. And just all the throwing under the bus of people, um, like his children and things like that. That was a real turning point for me when I saw that. And I thought, oh, you're not to be trusted. I mean, if you're going to do that and be that disrespectful and go so far as to comment on that, what would you say about me? Well, we saw that today. Thank you, Jen Nelson. Thank you guys for listening. Um, have I traveled internationally? Yes, I have before for sure. Thank you, Kevin Conklin. So again, guys, this isn't me coming on here to go, we're going to start doing, stirring up this drama. We're not, you're not going to hear much else about this. I'm going to go, you know, talk to Jeff like a big girl. And um, hopefully there's, uh, you know, there's a, a resolution, you know, and I think my seeing a therapist every week has really helped me to be less reactive, to be less like angry. I kind of take a step back. Um, yes, Greta. I kind of take a step back now before I react big time to something. Um, and I, and I like this, I thank you, geo planet Jane. That's awesome. I also think my therapy has helped so much with like, this individual, this would have really bothered me in the past, but now I took a step back. Like what just happened? And I was like, okay, do I value this person in any way? No, this person has shown their true colors time after time after time. They have thrown everybody I've seen in this family under the bus, everybody. I mean, there's nobody they've left behind. So it's like, hmm, I'm not really surprised and it doesn't really hurt me. 
Uh, Reese, you can talk about anything you want. It's your channel. Look how many people are here. You are real life. Reality TV sucks. You can't make this shit up. That's why we relate. Keela, I love you. You are such a huge supporter of me and a, such a good friend. Thank you. Yes, Asen. I know, Stephanie. Oh my God, Joy of Cats. Thank you. Yes, Millie, 20,000 plus family members, plus the other person. <laughs> Wendy, I love Wendy Brewer. Where'd you go? Boundaries have been crossed. Yes, they have. But, you know, that's marriage at the same time. Hey, Reese, I love the outfit you, what you're wearing, that color on you. Uh, Wendy, this is from uh, Lady Co. I think it's called the Claudia, and she got it in a ton of colors. And it's like going to be my year round. It's such a good year round because it's kind of sweatery. And um, it's just also fancy. Like you could throw a blazer over it. You can dress it up or down. Um, I have it on with like some black joggers. So yeah, you could do a lot with this. Thank you. You found your island of serenity. Yes, and nobody can take that away from me. As much as people are gonna get angry and try, um, people are gonna get really mad at me for finding my peace and being um, kind of more inner. That's what we've been working on in therapy forever. That's what my therapist said. I just realized that. He said, you look to things, you reach externally for everything. You've got to find the answers within. You've got to be reaching internally, find your strength. You've got it. It's there. You don't need to find answers externally. You can find them internally. I am doing that. Now I'm not totally successful at it, but I'm doing it. And nobody can take that away from me. And it pisses some people off that I'm getting stronger. Hi, Danny's mom. Love you, girl. I did, Liz Ferris. Thank you. Sue Moss, look at you, Reese. No friends to thousands of friends in over a year. And, and these are friends. I said that on the podcast I did. I said, I've got 20,000 people and they are not subscribers. They're not fans. They're not followers. They're my friends. And some of them have become family. These people are my friends. John Van Geest, I agree. I agree, Susie, SP Squirrel. Yeah, YouTube live streams are so much better because it's real people, real time, no BS scripts. I totally agree with that. Yeah, I, I don't, I've never pre-recorded anything on YouTube and I don't, I prefer not to do that. I actually told her that before we started it. I said, um, I like going live. It kind of, it's a thrill. It's thrilling. I like it. I like that we're in here together in real time. I would never do this if it was pre-recorded. Anna, trust in yourself. And if you're feeling like falling, we will catch you. Sending good vibes from Vancouver. Anna, I love you. Thank you for being here. Jen Nelson, I love that. You've been lurking lately to everyone. Uh, really, but I want to say that I've seen your growth and I'm happy you've come into your own. That is such a nice thing to say. Thank you. Broke Yak Mountain. Oh my God, that's funny. Hello, my first time on your channel. Just wanted to share my love and support for your cause. That is so kind of you, my friend. Thank you for being here. I love my therapist. I went through a couple of therapists to get to him and I love him. I agree, Mousy. I will, Stephanie. Sorry, I'm just catching up, guys. The not so graceful swan gifted five memberships. Thank you. I just think that's wild. What a time to be alive that you can do that. Brittany observation. I can hear it in your voice and see it on your face. Now that it's out, you do look more peaceful. I feel at peace, even though I'm sure it's not going to be peaceful. Um, again, you can't take that away from me. It's falling out again. Sweet Jesus. Thank you for saying that. I got to get a back. I think it's weird that I bought these and they didn't have like a little rubber back. I don't wear dangly earrings. I went through that 15 years ago. I've seen similar in Aaron last November. I'm seeing it in you right now. You are on the right path. Yes. 
Asen, thank you. Jenny, we know and love you, Reese. I know you want to be careful about sharing your pain on your channel, but at the same time, we're here for your true self, babe. Jenny, I love Jenny Stout. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's one of the main things that makes your live stream so special. Declare Dave loves suppressive sherry for your tea fund. Thank you so much. You guys are so nice. Thank you. Thank you. Professor Kate, I appreciate that compliment. Gretchen only would definitely know this. So happy you found a therapist you like and can trust. So important, guys. She is our therapist on the channel. So yes, we have her and we have Elizabeth Bates. Wow. An actual sign of narcissism is flaring emotions if their advances don't work. So it's not that you're a Scientologist and are bull baiting, you're diffusing a bomb. I appreciate that. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Why did the narcissist cross the road? Because they thought it was a boundary. Oh my God. That is so funny. Kristen, for sharing the sister drama. <laughs> Love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't intend to, guys. It just happened before I went live. Google option 29 in Kansas City, please. What a great resource for you. Okay. Thank you, Better Together. The good news is I have it all um, and can go back and listen to it. I want my query. Just tell me you will be safe. Yes, Bo, I am. I am okay. Thank you for super chatting me. Mary Grubbs, I like that. Thank you, Hamina. And now that you found your light, never let anyone take it away. Rhonda McNeil, you're so funny. Kathleen, I'm so glad you got a membership. It's okay, Bo. Yeah, I think Fred would be disappointed in the whole thing. Not just Jeff, but me too. Honestly, guys, this is just neither Jeff nor I want this. This is something we want. You know, neither of us are uh, feed on drama. That's not our style. Um, it's just, it's marriage. It's real life. And that's what this channel is about. Good and bad, healing and progressing. Dina, thank you for becoming a member. I worry about that too, Kristen Iverson. Kirsten Iverson. What a nice thing to say, Ellen. And just so you know, I know that you're sad. I know this whole thing is sad. Ultimately, you and Jeff are married, and that requires love. You give it your all, and that no one can deny. Thank you. It's true. And Jeff gives it his all. I believe that. I think Jeff is a great husband. I believe that. I think he um, absolutely intended to be one, and I think he tries his best. Mousy, I'm glad you got a membership. Thank you, Hamina. Yes, I will. I appreciate that, Tampa B-Man. I love how you've shared your feelings while not throwing Jeff under the bus. I respect that. Jeff won't see it that way. I'm going to go upstairs in a minute, and he's going to say you totally threw me under the bus. But I appreciate you seeing it that way because it does help me. I had no intentions of doing that. Um, I love you so much, Wendy. You are the kindest person I have spoke to uh, you on here, and I love you so much. I love you too, girl. Thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Mad Marsha. So guys, I'm probably going to sign off. Um, I'm going to go get Huxley. And uh, do what we can. So um, let's see. Tomorrow I have a... Uh, uh, I'm having lunch with someone and I have my diabetes appointment tomorrow. I hope my A1C is still good. I have a feeling it is. I've been checking my sugars and they're great. Thank you, Brian Lucas. Um, Jenny Stout, I don't know how to give you guidance on finding the join button. Hi, Fancy Nancy. Love you, girl. Not that Helen gifted five memberships. Thank you. You have never thrown him under the bus. Panko, you're an attorney, so I appreciate you saying that. That is so nice. Um, I don't think Jeff will see it that way. And that's okay, guys. We can only see things um, the way we see them. 
I live in my own head. I don't live in Jeff's head and I don't live in his family's head. They're going to do and say whatever they're going to do and say. And we have to live with that and be at peace with it. You know, that's just life and uh, it's not permanent. So powder puff, love your talks. Sometimes it brings tears. You're just the sweetest. Thank you, my friend. Guys, thank you for being supportive of me. That's, you know, I worry about it. I worry about the loss of you guys, you know, my channel or you leaving me. It's a very irrational fear, but it's my biggest fear that, you know, I think abandonment in general. Um, I don't want to be left behind and I worry about it. So thank you for sticking with me, for making sure you're subscribed, for your super chats, for your memberships. I really appreciate it. Your wisdom, everything, everything, everything. Um, not only haven't you thrown him under the bus, but you've taken responsibility and said it takes two and you have your part in it. You've just become a stronger and way change. Yes. Thank you for saying that, Armine. Third eye open, Reese, you are always, always, always fair and loving in the things you say about Jeff, even when talking about tough conversations. You have never thrown him under anything. I love that. Yeah, and Kevin says, I'm on team, Jeff. Talking about feelings is very healthy. Yeah, absolutely it is. Thank you, Professor Kate. I hope Jeff understands the difference. You're allowed to do whatever you want with your channel. Today, you spoke mainly how his family stirs. Jeff stood up for you in a way. Yeah. I don't know how he's going to see it, guys. I have a feeling it will not be in a good way. Um, but that's also not under my control. It's not my problem. I'm not going to try to get him to see it a different way. He's a big boy and he can, uh, he can make his own decisions. And I wish that his family would let him do the same. And I wish he would see that he's a bit under control there. Um, I know for a fact, if I had a family member call me and go, Bleh, I would go, whoa, let me kind of make my own decisions on things. I hear you, but we're going to stop there. But see, that's kind of the new where I'm at with therapy. Those are boundaries for me. Jeff didn't set any boundaries today at all. He should have said, hey, that's enough. You know, keep your opinion to yourself. If you don't like it, don't watch. We're done. You know, I would have shut it down because you're just meddling in somebody's marriage. Like, what are you hoping to accomplish? It's not healthy. It's not good. You don't just talk about that bad, but you sang his songs of praise every time he treated you right. Instant cheat code right there. Don't be a dick and she won't talk about it. Treat her right. I love that, Blake. It's true. I mean, I probably uh, will have a hard time ever dating in my future because I do talk about everything. This isn't a channel about one thing. It's about everything and um, the good and the bad. And also the good and the bad about me. I've shared all kinds of embarrassing things about myself. So I've thrown myself under the bus, if you want to look at it that way. Noble Savage, Reese, you are real and relatable to so many. People don't generally blow smoke just to make others feel better. You are the real deal. Thank you. Katie, bye. You're hilarious. Thank you, Casey. Asen, probably. Heather, I know. Uh, Dream Maker Reptiles. I'm a lurker who never messages, but I wanted to say how much I love watching you. Thank you, my friend. That is so kind. Thank you. Okay. Well, guys, I'm going to sign off. Um, yeah, it's going to be okay. I will be on tomorrow. I don't know if I'll be on during the day, but definitely tomorrow night we're going to do that interview. And I hope that you watch it. I know that a lot of you know the story, but I think it'll be cool to come from Tommy. I think it'll be neat to have him actually interview me. Um, so thank you for being here today. Um, there's no fake in Reese. Thank you. Lindsay, thanks for becoming a member. Guys, again, I appreciate you so much. I appreciate how many people are in this chat listening that shows that you support me, except for the ones that don't. And that's okay too. Uh, in a way, you're supporting me by viewing, the, you know, viewing. So um, it's okay. Um, but thank you for being here. Thank you for becoming a member and all those things and your wisdom. And I just, I feel it from you guys strongly, especially lately. And I want to say thank you. 
I love you too, Rhonda McNeil. Here comes Fred. Powder Puff, you do the same. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow.